Good day. My name is Jillian Ferguson, and I live in San Fernando, Trinidad. I am a native of San Fernando. I graduated from Naparima Girls High School. I went away to study, and I have come back home. I answered an advertisement from the Ministry of Education regarding invigilators for the CXC or CSEC and CAPE exams. I did so because I have done it before. This time, I was relegated to being a supervisor for the invigilators. Same thing, making sure the children do the work. But a lot more paperwork was entailed in that I had to hire assistants, log their hours, schedule their times, so on and so forth. I did all the requisite paperwork. I showed up on time and I did my job to the best of my ability. Between April, May, and the beginning of June, I completed my task as a supervisor for the invigilators in Asia Boys, San Fernando. Near the beginning of April, there was a meeting held both for coordinators and supervisors of exams. As a new supervisor, I found it imperative that I attend. That being said, there was a gentleman by the name of Mr. Nanlal who said to me that he was the head of the examinations department. He gave a very rousing speech regarding the appreciation that the ministry had for everybody's work, how the children are our future, and we're doing it for the good of the country. Then he explained that people who were not paid for 2018, 2017, 2016, and 2015 can rest assured that we will all be paid by August and September of this year. I found that to be very odd that people would continue to do this job without compensation. At which point I said to myself, it is not the ministry's fault anymore. It is ours. Because if you work and don't get paid and continue to work, you are giving them carte blanche right to treat you like a slave. I expressed to Mr. Nanlal after the meeting that I was not one of those people. The same way he got paid for doing his job, I expect to get paid for doing mine. Lo and behold, when September arrived and I saw no money in my bank account and continuously kept checking it, only to find every time grand disappointment that I was not paid. I began calling the Ministry of Education several times a day for several days from the beginning of September until up until October 22nd. At over $2 per call, I ran up a bill or wasted over 160 of my dollars calling them. And with all the times that I called them, only on four occasions did they deign to answer the phone. I have left messages for Mr. Nanlal. He did not return my calls. On the 22nd of October, I saw, I finally got to speak to a lady in the accounts department. She advised me that our voucher number 11881189 was not sent in for payment and we should not expect to get the money anytime soon. When I pressed for a time frame, she could not give me anything but excuses and said, well, it has to go here, and it has to go to the payment voucher, and it has to go here, and it has to be signed off. All of this should have been done between June and August. 
the Ministry of Education contracted people to work. They made you go out of your way to bring the paperwork to them. These are the receipts that I got on the 12th of June. June from the ministry. And for some reason, between June, July, August, September, and now nearly the end of October, they have not managed to do the data processing necessary to pay the people that they, they made work. Slavery is over. This has to stop. Everybody who's driving around in their Range Rovers, their BMWs, and their Jaguars, they get paid. They get their paycheck every month. All I am asking is for what is due me for the work that I did, as well as the other people, because I am not alone. There are people underneath me who I feel compelled to speak out for on their behalf that also put in work that have not received their pay. And it's not just my center. It's not just Asja boys. There are other schools across the country where people went and put in their work, put in the time, and are not receiving compensation for it. That, to me, is theft. Or they consider us to be slaves because slaves are the only people I'm aware of that work for free. I am imploring Trinidad, its people, and the Ministry of Education to do the correct thing do the right thing by the people that you hire and pay us for the work that we have done. Thank you for your time. It has come to my attention that St. Joseph's Convent San Fernando, Old Tech, whatever that school is called now, those two schools have been paid for their invigilators. Several schools have received their money. Some have not, mine being one. I saw a post on Facebook by a lady who did not want to be named saying that she didn't get her money. I know that I'm not alone. One of the young ladies who worked with me at Asja Boys in 2019 and I are going to the Ministry of Education on Wednesday morning. That is this Wednesday, the 30th of October. And I'm going there with the intention to demand answers as to why I cannot receive my money. If there's anyone out there who sees this, and would like to find out the same answers, I implore you, please, feel free to come out. Stand up for yourselves. Stand up for your rights. Refuse to be treated like slaves. And come and request answers and demand your money. I should be there by 9 a.m. on Wednesday, the 30th of October outside the Ministry of Education, located at 5 St. Vincent Street, Port of Spain. Yes, I have to take money I don't have and travel to Port of Spain to hunt them down to get my money that is due to me. They didn't have to hunt me down to go to work. They didn't have to beg me to show up and do my job. But now, I have to do that for them. I will show up. I will beg them for my money that's due to me. And anyone who wants to come with me, please feel free to join me on Wednesday at 9 a.m.
thank you have a good day